Rebellion. Akio. Akio. Indonium Leviosa.
What a relief. Revelio.
say I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do you come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. Rebellion. You're back. And in one piece, no less. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? What was the glowing strand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of, well... A vainglorious and exasperating headman. Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. 
We shall speak again soon. Rebellion. Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. I have been asked to teach you the exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. How inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder.
Revelio. I should investigate. Rebellion. Away, High Wing! Away! This place has seen better days. Something nobody will miss one measly little student. Rebellion. Assignment's all finished. Rebellion. I've been studying Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Ugh. I take it you're ready to learn... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. 
Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't... Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done! Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombarder! Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. You'll never believe what I've... What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve ominous. I'm glad you agree. And don't feel sorry for ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous. We were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I well, said that... I was wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian Manuel. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. 
I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Bombarda! What are you up to now? Oh, it's you! Just the person- Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. He's- he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying and he simply never listened. I'm sorry, how exact- Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet- I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just lo- Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, and to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb How awful. I can see why you're upset. Exactly. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could be- Can't the curse be- Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Mom. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. I can take the crest. Oh, thank you! You'll simply go into the tomb where- According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for sin. You'll find it just east of- Thank you for your help. I need to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. Revelio. Lumos, 